Hi, everybody. Welcome back to that Eurovision site. We are once again continuing on our discussion videos where we look at the um, internally selected artists for this year's contest in Malmö. And for today, we are, of course, talking about Armenia. And I am joined by the lovely Madeline from Eurovision Bulgaria and OGA Bulgaria. How are you doing, Madeline? I'm doing great. I feel very excited for Malmö and for their Armenian entry, of course. Okay, then, so if you don't already know, um, Armenia will be represented by Ladeniva, and they will be competing with the song Yako. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Jaco. Oh, Jaco. Okay. Uh, um, can I just ask, obviously, you're also part, part Armenia, am I correct? So yes. I just wanted to say, what, what was your reaction when you found out that they are indeed representing Armenia in this year's contest? Okay, well, as we know, Armenia likes to take its time before confirming its Eurovision artists that happen every year. But this year especially had a lot of rumors. We started with Ladaniva, then a bunch of other popular names. And I've been a fan of Ladaniva for a long time. So when we finally got the news that they are going to Eurovision, I was um, over the moon. I was so happy. And especially, it's funny because they released this song uh, back in October. It was part of their first album, which is again called Ladaniva. And this song has been in my Spotify playlist for months. So I've been listening to it. And now I'm listening to it as the Armenian Eurovision entry. And yeah, I'm very happy. I think it's a great choice. I think for me, it's like, obviously it's, I've not heard of them. Like, I'm just going to caveat that. Like, I've not heard of Ladaniva up until, you know, there were, there were the rumor swirls, obviously. And I, okay, let's check them out. So, okay, not bad. And then when they were confirmed, it's like, okay, so we waited all that. It was actually one of the rumored artists, which is a good thing. But when I listened to Jacko for the first time, I was like, wow. Okay. Um... We haven't had something like this from Armenia for a bit, and it's very unique in its own right. And I'm I'm just trying to see like how they can um replicate whatever they do usually onto the stage because from what I've seen, it's it, it seems to be a very popular choice from everyone. But like, how has the um reception been in in your end, like? when it was announced that okay, it, it was Lan and Eva who was representing Armenia? I think um, Armenians were in general quite happy about the choice because, um, yeah, finally, after it's been a lot of years, I can't even count how many Armenia is sending something that's quite ethnic, quite local, and it's also up-tempo. And the song itself is very true to La Daniva style. They are mixing Armenian elements, but also worldwide music. Uh, you can see the Indian influence, the French influence, the Balkan influence. So it is typical Armenian, but it's also, um, you know, it doesn't have a specific place that you can uh, connect it to. But yeah, overall, they were pretty happy. Also, we're hearing the Armenian language once again in Eurovision. And I hope that uh, for the first time, we'll have a song entirely in Armenian in the final. Um, but yeah, it also has a pretty uh, important message. Although you can see that the lyrics aren't that um, long. However, with short words, she's able to say that you can't really tell me what to do. I'm a free woman. I can decide how to dance, when to dance, and so on. Okay, then, well, for me, like, uh, just thinking at it, yeah, it was a very popular choice, and it seems. Uh, but looking at it, obviously, we're recording this. We know, we, we now know all of the entries for this year's contest. And looking at it from your perspective, like... Um, what do you think, first of all, 
what do you think Armenia's chances are obviously going to the final? And um and if they do, how do you think they'll do if they get there? Well, in the era of televote only semis, I think we can be pretty sure that Armenia will qualify to the final. However, this year's edition is a very wacky one. We have a lot of up-tempo songs. A lot of uh, countries are sending entertaining entries. So in that sense, I feel like maybe it's not the right year to send a song like this because I don't know how much it will stand out among the others, especially we have Greece with a similar um, style going in the same, very same semi-half as well. So um, it really depends on the stage performance, how it will, um, how it will be also. But I think it has a lot of potential. Also, we saw the music video is full of colors, full of, uh, you know, life. And I can guarantee that La Daniva are a great live band. I actually went to their concert three weeks ago in France and they really hooked the crowd. I was also with a friend who listened to them for the first time and she was already singing along. And I think the latter half of the song has a lot of moments will, where they will try to exactly do that, to connect with the audience, to make them sing. And who knows, maybe we can have a Trenuletsu moment in the voting uh, with La Daniva. Although I think it has jury appeal as well because Jacqueline has an amazing voice. I think for me, uh, obviously, uh, we're going into uh, the second semifinal. Obviously, like you said, you got Greece and you also got Estonia and you've also got uh, the Netherlands on there. So it's like maybe not the similar, but like I think if 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 we're looking at this in not in our eyes where we know the contest, people might mesh the four together. But I know that I think looking at it, I think. Armenia can stand out with like, you know, like you said, like the way they perform with the, the, the staging that they could potentially bring to Malmö. And I, I think it stands out enough for it to potentially qualify. And I, and I really hope that if the juries, you know, look at this in the way they're supposed to, uh, <laughs> um, I think that it can do quite well. Uh, Looking at it, like, um, if, if it does get to the final, like, what do you think your chance, what do you think Armenia's chances are, you think? I think In, they can do ways. a top 10. Because also La Daniva are very popular among the Armenian diaspora. So I think for sure, televotes will be coming in. And again, they have a broad appeal, so it won't just be Armenians voting for them. So I think the chances are quite good for a top 10 placement. Further than that, again, it always depends. I think it's a very strong year. But I am very confident about their performance. Also, if they keep the aesthetic from the music video, it will definitely stand out. I think for me, if they do end up uh, getting to the final, I think... Um... I think maybe le definitely. I think I, I think I see them getting a left hand side. Obviously, this would all depend on we're not, we're not mind readers here. <laughs> Just to point that out, but I think I think they could go for a minimum. I think a left hand side if they do make it to the final. Uh, one of my last questions for you is uh, looking at the um, looking at this. Like, what should fans expect from? Armenia this year like obviously you know more a bit about Ladaniva like what do you think what do you think we should expect from them come May it'll be a performance full of joy high energy I think they will bring yeah a lot of uh, positive emotions and even if you don't know Armenian which again most of the people won't you can still sing along to their song and feel what they are trying to transmit yeah and i'm certainly looking forward to that well i think you know that's our reaction well that's our thoughts on um Lena Neva, who is representing armenia what do you guys think um let us know your thoughts and 
let us know how do you think they'll do in Mama. Um, I'd like to thank Madeline for joining me for this little video discussion. Where can we follow you and you know your outlets, obviously? EurovisionBulgaria.com. You can find all the links on our website for our YouTube channel, Twitter account, Instagram. Even though Bulgaria isn't in Eurovision, we try to bring Eurovision to Bulgaria in our own way. All right, then. Well, thank you very much, guys, for watching. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, push the notification bell and all that kind of jazz, and follow that Eurovision site at that Euro site on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Threads, and Blue Skies. Oh, my God. I meant Blue Sky, but it is what it is. But thank you very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.